we're controlling quite tightly the, um, the magnetic flux. We've got magnets that are held in position nice and close. We've got um, wires, lots of coils of wire held around there and they turn quite rapidly. So every element of that, that uh, equation there is covered. And the number of coils, quite a lot of coils in here. Um, magnetic flux, it's not a terribly strong magnets, but they're quite close, so you're close to the, um, the field and you're cutting out lots of lines of flux. And if we spin this around, it's geared up so it spins around quite rapidly. And uh, it's designed to generate uh, you know, only small voltage, but that's what it's designed for. So what does that come out with? Uh, well, let's have a look. And we're up to um, you know, 3 volts. So we're no longer in the milli mini millivolt range. We're up into the uh, volts. And the faster I turn that, the um, higher the voltage it will deliver. So he, what Faraday discovered is just fundamental to what we, uh, we learn today uh, and what we see in our big generator sets. Just one more thing that's really important is this negative sign up here. And what that indicates is that the current we produce in the, in the cable, it actually produces a magnetic field. As long as you've got a moving current in the conductor, you're producing a, a magnetic field. And the direction of that magnetic field is uh, such as it will, it's going to oppose what we're doing. So that explains why if you go into a an, uh, uh, spares warehouse and you know, there's a generator there and you can, you can turn it, it's got a, a six inch shaft on it, 150 mil shaft on it, and you can turn that by hand quite easily. So you think, well, you know, why is it hooked up to a 20 diesel engine? Uh, the reason is that as you turn that and put a load on it, your, the um, currents developed are strong enough to generate a magnetic field that actually pushes back against the rotation. There's nothing for nothing. So you've got you've to put the effort in to make the generator turn if you want to get the power out the end of it. So that's why it's got a 150mm shaft. And the magnetic forces involved are absolutely staggering. They're enormous. Um, you look at the size of an engine, you know, it's, it's, it's 20 feet long, 20 cylinder engine or something like that, and uh, it's, it's plugged into a, a generator that might only be, you know, four or five feet, a metre, metre and a half long, and that's taking all the power that the, the big diesel can, um, can deliver. So, the forces to transmit that power, and all, it's, all, it's all transmitted through the magnetic fields, those forces are, are very large, so the, the structural side of our generators is very important as well.